We have fire. It's burning down pretty good now. It's wasted all this time and effort. Let's give this another shot. Welcome back to another episode from Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. I'm Bill. Glad you could join me. Today we're going to take a look at tannic water. Oh, welcome back. Stay tuned. Tannic acid is a uh, something that's very readily available in the wilderness, and it has a variety of uses. And today we're going to cover uh, how to uh, make tannic water from uh, natural materials from botanical sources. Tannic water is highly antibacterial and antifungal. Anything that's acidic is, uh, is antifungal. So it'll work on uh, nail fungus, uh, uh, athlete's feet, jock itch, ringworm, which is also a fungus. Uh, and uh, it works as an antibacterial, as a topical uh, antiseptic, a, a wound wash, primitive wound wash. Uh, you can also use it to uh, to bathe with. So in a primitive situation you can make up a, a kettle of tannic water, use a rag or a sponge or whatever you're going to use, you can sponge bath off with it and wash your hair with it. Uh, it's also astringent so it, it constricts blood vessels so uh, say you have a, a small cut or whatever and it's bleeding as a wound wash it will clean and disinfect the the cut but it'll also constrict the blood vessels and help curb the uh, the bleeding um, you can use it to tan hides we're not going to get into that that's a, that's a whole separate uh, separate subject there but uh, it, it has and can be used to, uh, to tan hides um, I personally uh, don't use it for that uh, for that purpose, but uh, it can be used that way. But as a body wash in a primitive situation, uh, it can be used uh, to uh, cleanse and as an antibacterial because body odor is caused by bacteria. Uh, be an antibacterial uh, if you bathe with it, you wash your hair with it. It's not going to suds up or anything like soap, but uh, it will uh, it will cleanse pretty well. And uh, get you clean, and uh, and uh, cut any uh, odor that you uh, you may have. So, with that said, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a couple of uh, 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 sources that are uh, readily available here in this area. One is an oak gall. I harvested an oak gall. There's two two types of galls. They come black, and the other galls come light colored. Uh, almost like the color of coffee with cream in it. The light colored galls have a higher level of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, of uh, tannic acid in them. I'm gonna show how to prepare that. And the other readily uh, available source up here, you use the oak leaves also, oak bark. Oak is very high in tannins. A lot of trees are as well. Oak being one of the higher, uh, cedar, uh, and uh, manzanita is very high in, uh, in tannic acid. It's in the leaves, and the stems, and the bark, the wood. So what we're going to do today, we're just going to harvest a few manzanita leaves and uh, we're going to prepare the, uh, the, uh, the oak gall. Just going to make a very small batch of tannic, tannic water as a demonstration purpose. So uh, with that said, stay tuned. Okay, here's a small small manzanita 
bush. So we'll go ahead and harvest a few of these these leaves. You don't want to strip a whole stem. Just kind of bounce around. Be ethical about about the harvesting. These are all very very high in tannic acid. And that should be enough. We're just going to do a very small demonstration today. Okay, here's the uh, oak gall. A lot of people, uh, I'm sure, are familiar with these. If you've been around oak trees, you'll find these. Well, you'll see them on the branches, but you'll uh, you'll see these also on the ground underneath the trees. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to uh, prepare. Some of this. I'm gonna bust it up into uh, pieces to open it up. You'll see inside it's very, uh, very spongy. The oak gall wasp actually lays eggs in the bark the cambium layer of the oak tree and there's a substance secreted by the wasp that causes a rapid multiplication of the meristemic cells of the uh, oak tree and what it does it basically grows up around the eggs and it encapsulates them in this organic matter here and once the eggs hatch the pupa will it will uh, work its way out of the uh, out of the uh, the oak gall and if you look at an oak gall you'll see a little hole in there, and that's the uh, the young wasps. They uh, they work their way out, and then uh, so it's kind of a kind of makes a cocoon for the uh, for the wasp to uh, gestate inside. It's interesting how that works. The uh, symbiotic relationships of uh, nature. Anyways, we're going to take this over. We're going to put a little bit of water inside here, and uh, and heat this up. Stay tuned. Okay. I'm going to use the, uh, my little alcohol stove here because there is a uh, fire restriction in place. We're at the end of summer here and uh, everything is very dry so we're going to observe the restriction and I brought my little, uh, my little alcohol stove here. Stoves are uh, permitted with this thing level. Make sure this is going to sit up here okay. And I apologize about the wind. It's messing the audio up. It's pretty windy up here today. I'm just going to make a little batch here for demonstration purposes. on there okay yeah, I think we're okay all right so we're gonna let this uh, simmer for about oh 15 20 minutes and uh, that will extract the tannic acid from the organic material and then uh, after that we'll let it cool down a little bit and uh, we'll take a look at it. Stay tuned, I shall return.
Okay, this is boiling pretty good now. I also wanted to add that <clears throat> tannic water can be used uh, as a uh, an improvised bushcraft mouthwash since it's antibacterial. You can use it to gargle with and uh, and uh, to swish your mouth out. It'll also help with uh, gum health, dental hygiene, and since it's astringent, if you have any loose teeth issues, it'll it'll help to it acts to to uh, shrink the gum tissue to kind of draw it in a little bit. I mean, it's not going to cure it, and the effect is temporary, but that is one added benefit. But this is. Uh, boiling pretty good now. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to let it steep for a bit. And then uh, that's nice and hot now. We'll just let that uh, steep for a little while. Turn this guy off here. I'm not going to touch those prongs, they're too hot. I was going to put the cap back on, but let that cool down a bit. I don't want to get branded. So we'll go ahead and come back. We'll let this steep for a bit. And I can already see the color of the water is uh, tea colored, and that's the color that we want. And I'm going to go ahead, since it's steeping, I'm going to throw the lid on there and just let it uh, steep like a tea and uh, we'll uh, come back and take a look at it. Stay tuned. Okay, let's go ahead and separate the liquid from the organic material here. discard the organic matter. Pour this back in. And this is tannic water. And that is the color that it should be. have a nice uh, nice tea color to it that is a good uh, a good sufficient uh, dose of uh, tannic acid in that water there to make it uh, antiseptic and antibacterial and uh, antifungal and, and astringent so that's pretty much all there is to making uh, to making tannic water so, just to recap, it's, a, it's a, an improvised bushcraft uh, topical antiseptic and uh, very readily available in, uh, in, the, uh, in the bush and quite easy to make. Now, if you, have a, if you need a big batch, you, know, you need a big kettle. Um, now, if you don't have any cookware, nesting cup, uh, kettles or whatever uh, and you're, you're in a, a full-blown primitive situation you can use uh, rawhide containers 
will work or you can use uh, uh, wooden coal burned containers and either one of those uh, you can uh, boil the water uh, using the uh, the hot rock uh, boiling method and that'll work just fine that way so and that's all there is to it well I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it today please like subscribe and share I hope all of you are having an outstanding day or night depending on where you're located and I will see all of you very soon on the next one everybody take care